How's it going, everyone? So last week I was talking to the dealership, and uh, they told me that they were going to be receiving my car on the 15th, which was yesterday. And uh, today I was just talking to the dealership, and they did receive it. And uh, I'm going to be picking it up next week, Thursday, which I believe is the 21st. So that's pretty good stuff. So um, in the meantime, once I found out that I was getting the, the car, I ordered a, a charger for the car, uh, EVSE, uh, level 2 charger, and I'm going to stick it in my garage, right where all those yellow extension cords are. If you see there, I have a, you can't, the sled is in the way, I'll move that for a second. So anyways, like I was saying, once I heard from the dealership that uh, I was getting the car, I ordered a, a, EV, a level 2 charger for the car, and it's sitting on that box right there on top of the car, and I'm going to be mounting it right where those extension cords are. You can see behind the tire from the bicycle, there's a, there's a 50 amp plug there, and that's for my arc welder, which I don't use that much, so I'm going to mount the the charger right over there and my car is going to park here once this red one is gone and uh, that's how I'm going to charge my car. So I can show you the the EVSC for a second if you just uh... and then here's the the charger in the box okay kind of hard to do this one-handed but anyways that's um, there's the plug for the car, and there's uh, the big plug that's going to go over there. Now I can see one thing i got to do, I'm going to have to flip that plug upside down, otherwise the charge is going to have to be real low, Mind that might not be so bad. I'm going to see how it looks and I'll decide then, but if I have to I can, I can flip that plug up so that receptacle upside down, but uh, we'll see. Anyways, so let's... Uh, Take a better look at this here. If I can get this, if I can get this out of the box here, and get the uh, there it is. Lay this on the car. Okay. So there it is. So this is. This is what I bought. I bought the uh, EV Duty. It's a 30 amp charger, 32 amp charger, and um, it's a really good price. It was uh, $7.99 plus tax, sh uh, free shipping. That's with the 25 foot cable. And I spurged, I got the, uh, the holster for it, which I'm going to probably mount over there. I'm going to clean that up too, and, and then I can. Uh, store the the plug over there and then it's got the uh, the mounting bracket which goes on the wall and then the charger it just slides on to it so it's actually it's a portable charger if you wanted to bring it someplace you can and um, but whatever anyway so that's it I'm gonna get to work and we're gonna hopefully have this done pretty soon okay so there it is as you can see here Got the wall all cleaned out, nice and pretty light. Arc welder still there. Still got a little bit of stuff I got to clean up yet. But nonetheless, the uh, plug, as you can see, I've got it in the right orientation with the neutral down or with the the ground down, which is if you look on here, that's all the this plug is. So now what I got to do is I have to figure out, uh, there's the mounting bracket right there. I have to figure out exactly where, there's a, there's a stud right over there. I just have to figure out the height. I believe it's in the manual and I'm going to just double check that, measure, measure twice, cut once type of thing and um, then we should be all done. It's all nicely mounted on the wall. Um, I had to, the instructions in the in the manual are a little off. They um, 
here they show that the, uh, yeah, I don't know why it doesn't want to come and focus, there it is, that the earth is up, but really the earth is down, and uh, that 14 and a half, I had to go 14 and a quarter because I believe when they mounted that plug, they actually got it an extra inch and a half away. But whatever, not nonetheless. There it is. It all looks good. Um, so we just need to hit the breaker and see what happens. So let's go to the breaker. It's this one here. And voila, look at that. It's green and it's ready to charge. Unfortunately, this old car won't work with it. So now the next thing is I just have to wait for my new car and then uh, hopefully that will sit here and um, that'll be it. So that'll be next week Thursday. I hope, I really hope I've been waiting over four months for it. In the meantime, leave a comment, hit the like button and uh, hope to hear from you.